For millions of Americans, the quest for beauty might well begin with makeup, but often ends up in the operating room. There were more than 10 million cosmetic procedures in 2008, with patients spending almost $12 billion. And an increasing amount is now coming from repeat business, patients who are no longer satisfied and want to go under the knife again. But is there any guarantee that it'll work second time around? Ryan Owens now reports. You make the pocket a little bit bigger for the larger implants. Okay. It doesn't deflate right away. Ten years after she had breast implants, this 32-year-old Los Angeles woman is back at the plastic surgeon. Just little by little, but you do feel like a small kind of pop or something. I was watching TV and I was like, hmm, looks different. Her saline implant literally popped, and it's more common than you think. It's not subtle. The woman wakes up, gets out of the shower, and says, where'd my breast go? So she calls, typically, and runs in. It's not a medical problem. It's clearly a psychosocial problem, an emotional one. It does affect you, um, you know, because you have one boob. <laughs> We're calling her LB because she asked us not to use her real name. That is the direction of the new lift, and that will correct the pull to the back. This Dallas woman has spent three decades trying to perfect her face. The chin down just a little. They're perfect. I noticed that I was sagging again and sagging through the neckline. She had a nose job in her 20s, a facelift in her 40s, and now she's back again. People constantly ask me why I was frowning when I was not frowning. So what are you going to have done? I'm going to have a facelift. Again? Again, my second. We're calling her Martine. She asked us not to use her real name. But she's part of a very real trend, the plastic surgery redo. There's a whole subspecialty now, it appears, within the practice of revisions. The recession has cut into the business of elective plastic surgery, not so with redos. Dr. Grant Stevens says redo surgeries have kept his practice near Los Angeles busy during this downturn. We looked over our statistics the other day and found that 35% of my surgeries that I've done in the last few months have been revision surgeries. Okay, here we go. LB surgery takes a lot less time. And here's the deflated saline breast implant. It sprung a leak and all the saline is out of it. So she's got a flat tire. We'll, we'll fix that now. Dr. Stevens says he's not just having to fix old implants, but new ones put in by unqualified surgeons. A number of people are coming in for revisional surgery following implant deflations like this, but even more are coming in following bad surgery. We're seeing a number of people dabbling in this marketplace who are unqualified, uh, both here and outside of the country. Medical tourism is contributing to revisional surgery, as well as non-board certified plastic surgeons doing this type of surgery. Her procedure takes less than an hour. It's a little bit lower, a little bit fuller, and she's a D cup. Dr. Sam Hamra will perform Martine's second facelift. Were you happy with the results from your first facelift originally? Um, yes, uh, however, I would term it a cream puff job. Um, which is, what does that mean? Um, well, he was a, a fine surgeon and he makes you look really great for just a few years. Um, whereas Dr. Hammer's effects are long-term, um, lasting. As we know, the young person has really nice full eyes. And These days, more than half of his surgeries are redos. He sees so many patients disappointed with their first lift, he wrote a book about it called The Facelift Letdown. Doctor, what are the most common complaints you hear from women? What are the looks they're most unhappy with? You rarely hear the specific complaints. Most of it, it doesn't last long, or I don't look as pretty as I wanted to, uh, or my eyes are sort of funny looking. One has to remember this is not chiseling in marble, but the faces continue to age. So whatever technique, mine or others, is going to age. What do you know? How long is it going to take? How much is it going to hurt? Um, you know, t there's no price uh, too high for beauty. Good morning. Good morning. You ready for surgery? Yes, I am. It's perfect. Her surgery took nearly five hours. Recovery will take months. The next day, LB is recovering well and happy with the results. Any nausea or anything? 
No. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. The stitches are absorbable, mm -hmm. so you, you won't see anything at this point. No cute, sexy black dress because you're in a grandma bra. Not basically. going anywhere. <laughs> Just adjust no boyfriends. Yet. <laughs> it's been six weeks since Martine's facelift redo, and as these pictures illustrate in painful detail, her recovery takes time. Hi, Martine. Hello. Good to see you again. You remember before, your eyes were a little bit hollowed out. But as they look at the before and after photos, Dr. Hamra and Martine say, so far, so good. Everybody tells me I look 20 and 30 years younger, so I feel great and I get so many compliments every day. As pretty as you look, you know, I wouldn't be very happy till six months or almost a year goes by because the whole theory is that this operation is very stable and uh, everything we've created here should stay for a long, long time. She does have a few scars, but the doctor promises they will fade. This is hidden inside the ear so that you'll never see a scar in front of the ear. And the only thing that's new would be uh, at the top of the forehead. That line will basically one day be very light, and the advantage is we've lowered or narrowed her forehead significantly rather than giving her a terribly high forehead, and that's part of the aesthetics of the beautiful face. Martine says it's a small price to pay for what she now sees in the mirror. I just feel, first of all, overall, I feel like I have a much more youthful look. Um, I just think this area is so smooth. Are you afraid you're going to be right back in this chair in 10 years? No, uh, Dr. Hammer has uh, been a fine surgeon with a wonderful rep reputation for years, and I know that it will be long-lasting. A redo she's hoping won't have to be redone. I'm Ryan Owens for Nightline in Dallas.